Hello everybody. Can you see me? Hey. Hey, welcome to story time. We got Bab, our minion, and Stitch, our classroom pet, <laughs> with us. So we're going to read two stories about bears. They picked a couple stories about bears. So they're going to sit over here behind me, over that way, and so they can see the book too. Okay, we'll put them up there. Okay, this is about Good Night Grizzly Grump. So, it's a bear who's tired, but he's being a little grumpy. Do you get grumpy sometimes when you get tired? I remember when I was a kid, my mom says, time to go to bed, you're tired. I go, I'm not tired, <laughs> and I'd start crying. And my mom would say, why are you crying? And I'd say, because I'm not tired. And she goes, see, you are tired because you're crying. I just told you that you're tired, and all of a sudden, now you're all upset and, and everything. See, so moms know when we're tired, when it's time for us to go to bed. But good night, Grizzly Grump. So he's very tired, but he cannot find a quiet place, I think, to go to sleep. This is by Aaron uh, Black, is the author. Okay. Oh, this is very pretty. This is where the bear lives. This is his forest. Very nice. Okay, let's begin. Deep in the dark forest, where no man has ever set foot, lives a creature quite grouchy, who goes by the name of... Oh, here's his forest first. Ooh, pretty pretty. Uh-oh. They're running. <gasps> what is that back there? There's an owl and a squirrel. I think they're running from the bear. Let's see. Grizzly Grump is his name. Autumn is here and it's time for Grizzly Grump to hibernate. During wintertime up north, bears go to sleep in caves and dens. Grizzly Grump shuffles off in search of a quiet place to sleep. There's Grizzly Grump. He's got his pillow and his favorite blanket. Oh, so he's got to go find a place to go to sleep. He's very grouchy, so everybody tries to stay away from him. Oh. After finding the perfect spot in the trees, Grizzly, gr Grizzly Grump scratches and he sniffs. Then he teeters and he totters. Next he wiggles and he wobbles. He flips and flops. Finally, he snoozes and snores. There he is, doing all these silly little things. <gasps> now he's snoring. Well, that's not a good place for him to sleep. Bears are supposed to sleep in a cave where it can be quiet, not out in the open. All of a sudden, he hears all these noises, and he wakes up. What's all the noise, he says. He hears knick-knock, 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 knock, 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 knock. With a grumble and a mumble, Grizzly Grump lumbers off in search of a quieter, quieter place to sleep. You know what he was hearing? Woodpeckers. They're up in the trees, and they peck the wood. And that woke him up. See, he needs a cave. He needs to go someplace quiet. Ah. Oh, this dream looks like a peaceful place for a long winter snooze. Ooh, he's going to go... He thinks he's going to rest by that tree. A little bit of waterfall right there. A little bit of water coming down. His friend Squirrel is trying to help him find a place. No, he can't sleep out in the open. He needs a cave. After finding the perfect spot next to the brook, Grizzle Grump scratches and he sniffs. Then he teeter and totters. Next he wiggles and wobbles. He flips and flops. Finally, he snoozes and snores. He's doing all that again. Flipping, flopping. And he's snoring. Something's going to wake him up because he's not where he's supposed to be sleeping at. All of a sudden he hears whap, whomp, whap, whomp, whap, whomp, 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 whap, 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 whap. What's all the noise? The grizzly bear says with a moan and a groan, putting the pillow over his ears, grizzly grump 
stumbles off in search of a quieter place to sleep. He was sleeping next to the beaver's house. And they built a house on the water. On little streams, little rivers. And what they built, they called that a dam. They built a little wood and everything and it floats on the water. And they build it all up there. It makes a lot of noise to build. Aha, uh -huh. I'm sure to sleep like a log in the dark, gloomy swamp. So he found a swamp. Ooh, that's a little scary, a swamp. He's on go, try to go to sleep in a swamp. See, Grizzly needs a place to be quiet to go to sleep during the winter. But everybody else doesn't go to sleep like he does. So everybody else isn't going to be quiet. They're going to be doing their normal stuff. So everybody's going to wake him up until he goes to the cave. After finding the perfect uh, spot in the marshy swamp, Grizzle Grump scratches and sniffs. Then he teeters and totters. Next he wiggles and wobbles. He flips and he flops. Finally, he snoozes and snores. Something's going to wake him up. What's all that noise? said Grizzly. It was the frogs in the swamp. They were all singing and, and talking to each other. With a huff and a puff, Grizzly Bear stomps off in search of a quieter place to go to sleep. See? Look at all the frogs. They come out at night and they sing and they play. It's driving him crazy. <gasps> now he goes off to find someplace else. Grizzly Bear, you gotta go find your cave. Surely there's somewhere here on this high mountaintop where I can take a long winter nap. He climbs on top of a mountaintop. It's lots of snow. Aha, a nice, warm, quiet cave. Tired out and trembling, Grizzly Grump stumbles in. He travels to the top and he finds a cave. He's gonna climb into the cave. But there's no scratching, no sniffing, no teetering, no tottering, no wiggling, no wobbling, and definitely no flipping, just a great big flopping. And he landed. He's very tired. See, he's very tired. Very, very tired. All of his animal friends are watching. Did he find the perfect spot to go to sleep? Then he yells to everybody, it's time for me to hibernate. And he shuts the door and puts a sign up that says, until spring. Spring comes after winter. So he wants everybody to leave him alone until springtime comes. They're all saying, he slams the door, he goes into the cave. Finally, Grizzly Grump falls into a deep sleep. His loud snores echo out of the cave and throughout the woods. And he drives everybody crazy. Ouch, Womp Lump, says the beaver. So loud, Hip Hop, says the bunny. What's that sound, Mump Lump? Says the, uh, moose. <laughs> hoot, hoot, what is that? Says the owl. <laughs> it's an angry mark, says the turtle. Right, wrong, right, quiet, please. Says the oxen. Pipe down! Ra ra ra! says the alligator. Woo woo woo! Inside voices, please! says the deer. Rabbit, rabbit, er, er, er! Shh! says the froggies. 
Turn it down, Nick knock, Nick knock, 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 says the woodpecker. Chirp, 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 zip it, zip it, chirp, 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 says the chipmunk. Hush, hush, please, hush, rush, 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 says the porcupine. We gotta get out of here, burp, burp, uh, says the Bigfoot Sasquatch. I didn't see him there. And let's go, says the snake. And they're all out there because the bear is so loud. They all got to run away. Sweet dreams, Grizzle Grump, says the squirrel. And everybody ran away. Except for his friend the squirrel. He put on little earmuffs. So the snoring wouldn't bother him. And they all ran away. Oh, that's funny. You know, when we get tired, we shouldn't get grumpy, right? I mean, we understand grizzle, Grizzly Bear was a little grumpy, grouchy Grizzly Bear, but we need to make sure that we don't yell at people when we get tired and stuff, and our eyes get red, and they start to rub. Yeah, so that's time. God's telling us that's time you need to go to bed because your body's getting tired, and you can always play and do things tomorrow, the next day. So, but bears, they go to sleep. For almost the whole winter. This is about a bear. And it's by Holly uh, Surplice. About a bear. Oh, these are very pretty. Look at these pretty leaves all decorated. Oh, pretty leaves. Another picture about a bear. A bear can be happy. Oh, yes, they can be. Bears can be happy. The butterflies are all around them. A bear can be sad. Yes, sometimes they can be sad. The butterflies all left. Now he's sad. They flew away. A bear can be bored. Oh, he's bored. He's upside down by the tree. Look at that. He's bored. Very bored. And a bear can be glad. Oh, yes. Look at him. He's very glad, very happy now. Bears are like us. He have lots of different emotions and feelings. A bear can be puzzled by a curious find. Look, he found a turtle. <gasps> He's on top of the turtle. And the turtle's on top of him. He likes playing with the turtle because the turtle looks different. And sometimes a bear has to scratch his behind. Oh, he has an itch. A bear could be hungry and sniff out a treat. Ooh, bears have good noses, big noses. They can smell food and little sweet snacks. And no bear can resist something sticky and sweet. <gasps> What is that bear climbing up for? What does he see? What's he climbing up for? Oh, honey. Bear loves honey. A bear can be silly and possibly slip. He's being silly. He's got the stick on his nose. He's going to slip. Ah, he's by the water. Splash. That's okay. But luckily a bear makes a very good ship. Oh, look at that. He's floating in the water and his Animal friends are on his tummy, floating in the water with him. He makes a good ship. A bear can get sleepy and need a bear hug. That's where bear hugs came from. He's sleepy. He gets a bear hug from all of his friends before bedtime. I like getting a hug from Mrs. sister before I go to bed. Does your mommy and daddy give you a hug when you go to bed at night? Then cuddle up tight as snug as a bug. So now he's in bed and all of his friends are all snuggled up around him. They all stay nice and warm. The end, and it's nighttime. Okay, I'm going to read this book again because it rhymes, and it's harder to pay attention to all the rhyming words that sound the same when I'm stopping and showing you the pictures. So I'm going to reread it. I'm going to read it again, and this time I'm not going to show you any pictures. Listen 
to the words, okay? Because they rhyme. About a bear. A bear can be happy. A bear can be sad. A bear can be bored. And a bear can be glad. Ooh, sad and glad. They rhyme. A bear can be puzzled by a curious find. And sometimes a bear has to scratch his behind. So find and behind, they rhyme. A bear can be hungry and sniff out a treat. And no bear can resist something sticky and sweet. Ooh, treat and sweet, they rhyme. A bear can be silly and possibly slip. But luckily, a bear makes a very good ship. So slip and ship, those rhyme. A bear can get sleepy and need a bear hug. And then cuddle up tight, as snug as a bug. Ooh. So hug, snug, and the word bug. Those all rhyme together. And the end. Yeah, so that was funny. That rhymed. I like books that rhyme very much. Maybe next book time we'll do another Dr. Seuss. All Dr. Seuss books rhyme. That's why I love Dr. Seuss. But I hope you enjoy these two books very much today. And uh, we'll have another one on Wednesday in two more days. We'll do another story time. So we only got a couple more story times left. The school's almost over. I'll see you guys later. I love you. Oh, did you guys enjoy it? Come back here. Did you guys have fun? Enjoy it? Yeah? Okay, good. Okay, say goodbye, everybody. Dee-doo, dee-doo, dee-doo. Bye-bye, <laughs> love you. Okay, we'll see you guys later, okay? Bye-bye.